In today's video, I will show you six exercises that will help you to increase the power on your serve. If you're new to this channel, my name is Patrick Brotfeldt and I'm a professional tennis coach in Norway. The focus on those six exercises is going to be in on the shoulder rotation and the shoulder over shoulder when you're hitting. So let's get started to the first exercise. A mistake I often see on beginners or the people using a forehand grip on a serve like this is that they're not turning enough. So it looks like this when I serve and they're breaking the plane of the angle of the shoulders. So it sh should look something like this on the plane. This will give you more power on the serve. So there might be a small difference in between the stances, the platform and the hit point. So when you're standing on a platform, you will have greater shoulder rotation, just like uh, Federer had. When you drag your foot in, you don't have to have that much of a shoulder rotation, but you should have some, so you're not here this angle. So the perfect drill for this is standing open stance because now you have to turn and now you practice on the unit turn in the serve. When you've done that a couple times, take your regular stance and do the same thing. Then you go, then you go back to this exercise again. So you go back and forth, like 10 repetition for the open stance and regular serve. Okay, let's get to drill number two. And what we're going to focusing on now is getting this position, the shoulder over the shoulder position. A common mistake I see is students going this way with elbow. You don't want to break the plane of the elbow. It should always be in 90 degrees here. So what you have to do, it's, it's about the weight transfer. So when you're taking a racket back, you want to focus on your knees, pointing toward the net post over there. So you bend them a little bit. You don't want to sit down in a squat. I see a lot of people doing that. So what you want to do is bend your knees. And when you go back, think about a racket weighing 100 kilos. So knees to the net post, racket is heavy. And that's how you get the shoulder tilt. And this left arm, if you're right-handed, has to go up. So go up and give high five. And your weight should be on the back foot. So you should have at least 50-50. Or you actually should have 60-40 in the beginning now. So yes, let's get to the first drill. So the first exercise requires uh, one of these uh, rubber tube bands and you will mount it high up on the fence or stairs at home. So you can do this exercise at home as well. So go out and put your elbow 90 degrees and take your stance if it's pinpoint or platform. And then what you want to do is tilt backwards and think about your knees, 45 degrees. Bam. Don't take your elbow down. Up here and tilt. Notice my left arm is going back. My weight is going back. Let's uh, show it another angle. Make sure I have that unit turn as well. 
and going up. Great exercise. So this is something you can do in a warm up or work at home as well. On this third exercise, I have mounted the rubber tube lower. So as slow as possible, you can also mount it on the net post. So, but since I have a fence, I have mounted it on the fence today. So it's also going to be about the shoulder over shoulder, this exercise. So you start with 90 degree angle. You can have your platform or pinpoint stance. Make sure your knees 45 degrees. You can go up into the shoulder over shoulder and then you go up sideways. You have that shoulder over that shoulder. And then you continue down, bending your knees and up. Make sure when you're in this position that you don't rotate. Have a shoulder over shoulder. So it's the same if you're standing in platform stance. You're going down, make sure you have your knees 45 degrees, weight on the back foot, and you go up, have a shoulder over shoulder. Make sure you don't rotate. So you go down, up, through. This exercise will help you to improve the shoulder over shoulder and the speed of doing this. Make sure to incorporate this exercise into your warm up routine or before going out practice on your serve. On uh, this next exercise, it's like the other one, except I'm using a medicine ball. This is a smaller one, 0.5 uh, kilos or 500 grams. I think every tennis player should have this in a tennis bag. It's easy, you can do a lot of shoulder exercises and power exercises. So, but uh, let's get started with the shoulder over shoulder. So stand here, do the service motion up and I have a shoulder over shoulder and then I go. So you don't want to throw it like this, you want to punt it like that. So one more time, mimic the serve, going bum, make sure you have a shoulder over shoulder, bend your knees towards the net post and turn and then you go up. Another exercise is doing it with the tennis ball. I like the medicine ball better, but you, you can do it with tennis ball as well. So you do the same thing. You go up, make sure you have shoulder over shoulder, rotate it, and you want to toss that ball as high up as possible. Mimic the serve, go up. The last exercise is to do it with your racket as well. But we're not going to hit the ball. So you get a ball and you do your swing and check your marks. Yes. Let's do it one more time. We can do it with platform. This way you can check your marks if you've done it correctly. A good way is to use a video camera. Just take your phone out and record yourself. And, uh, and lastly, you do it with the serve. Some common mistakes I see when doing this shoulder over shoulder, I've seen coaches saying it is get your hips inside the court. Yes, that will happen if you do it correctly, but you don't want to focus on that because you might injure your hip. So 
if you're doing it naturally, the correct way, that will happen. I've seen exercises doing the, the tilting. Yes, it's the tilt, but you don't want to overdo it because then it might hurt your back. So if you're doing the exercise correctly with your knee band and focus on having a weight on your back foot, all this thing will happen without you forcing like, oh, I have to get the hip in or I have to tilt. Because we want to stay away from injuries.